Hi, I'm Kelsey Hudson, one of the Youth Services Librarians for Middleton Public Library. This is our second digital teen book talk video for our summer reading program, Imagine Your Story. All of the books I talk about in this video are available through Middleton Public Library, and the theme we're going to be discussing today is rom-coms. So the first book I'm going to talk about is Only Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez. If you liked Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda, you will like this book. This book is a mashup of that book and the movie Grease. The main character, Ollie, goes on vacation to North Carolina, has a summer fling with a really cute boy named Will. Then Ollie goes home to California and thinks he'll never see Will again. But Ollie has a sick family member in North Carolina, so he ends up permanently relocating there. When he goes to school, who does he see? It's Will, but it's not the Will that Ollie remembers. This Will is a jock, he's closeted, he's kind of mean, and he doesn't want anything to do with Ollie. Or so Ollie thinks, because Will just happens to be everywhere Ollie is, and Ollie comes to realize that Will is perhaps not as indifferent as he seems. So it's a really cute rom-com between these two boys, kind of growing up and being able to uh, fight for their relationship. It's super funny, Ollie is a great character, you'll want to be friends with him, if you're like me, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll love this book, Only Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez. The next book I'm going to talk about is Layoverland by Gabby Noon. Most books don't start with the main character dying on page four, but the main character of this story, Beatrix Fox, her story really begins after her life ends. So Beatrix dies in a car accident, unfortunately, and she finds herself in Layoverland, which is kind of like a purgatory in-between type place where people who have something holding them back are able to work through it before they board a plane to heaven. People like Beatrix, who are kind of neither good nor bad, get assigned to helping out other souls before they're allowed to board the planes themselves. So Beatrix is assigned to help 5,000 souls before she can move on, which is fine, except for she gets assigned the soul of Caleb, the boy who, while being very cute, is the one who was driving the car that hit her that resulted in her death. So will Beatrix be able to let go of her anger, help Caleb move on and move on herself? Or is she going to be stuck in Layover Land for literally forever? Uh, this book is really funny because Layover Land is aggressively okay. It's very mediocre. For instance, the food is good, but all of it is encased in jello. Um, if you like comedy with a little bit of substance, even though this sounds like a really heavy book, it's not. It's really funny. Layover Land by Gabby Noon. Next book I'm going to talk about is Frankly in Love by David Yoon. So the main character Frank has two names, his American name, Frank, and his Korean name, Soon Min Lee. And Frank is the son of Korean immigrants. His parents want him to find a nice Korean girl, but Frank unfortunately falls in love with a white girl. So Frank knows that his parents will never accept him being with someone who is not Korean because they cut off his sister when she fell in love with a black man. So he hatches a plan with his Korean American friend Joy, who has also fallen in love with someone who is white, and they decide that they are going to fake date. What could go wrong? Every fake dating story goes exactly as planned, right? So Frank and Joy fake date, and along the way, they come to realize more about themselves and each other, and Frank grows throughout the book um, and to realize that what he thought he wanted, maybe he didn't. So super funny because Frank is very sarcastic narrator. It's a very conversational tone. So you really just feel like Frank is talking to you when you're reading this book. Really funny. Frankly in Love by David Yoon, who, yes, is married to Nicola Yoon, who wrote everything, everything. Just a bit of trivia. The last book I'm going to talk about is Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. Maybe from the title you think Love Boat Taipei sounds like a game show because that's what I thought before I read this book. But a love boat is actually a type of summer school in Taiwan. The main character ever is in high school and all she wants to do is go to college to dance and she gets accepted into a dance school but unfortunately her parents want her to be a doctor. So when they find out that she's trying to go to college to dance she gets sent to an immersive Taiwanese summer school called Love Boat Taipei. Ever assumes this is going to be the worst summer for her life. It's going to be so stifling. She's not going to have a good time. But when she gets to Love Boat Taipei, she realizes that it's much more independence than she actually had at home. 
She's able to make friends, meet cute boys, go out and learn more about herself. But will that be enough for her to take back to the United States so that she can pursue the life that she really wants? If you want to explore a whole different culture or a different type of school, I recommend Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. If you're looking for more book recommendations, be sure to stay tuned for more videos from us. You can get in contact with me anytime through the teen page of the Middleton Public Library website. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.